be dealing with him in a minute. If I can remember how to get up to him. Actually, that might have been the way right there. Oh well. Let's uh, explore the rest of the area. As you can see, down here in the middle, we got all of these freaking guys. I don't really, I don't know what to call them. So we're just going to call them uh, crazy mouth things. And uh, usually here would be the Onion Knight, but uh, I think we missed him in... What's it called? What's the swamp place with all the poison water and the flies? I believe he's there now. So uh, if we go back there, we can catch him, and then he'll show up here. And I believe he jumps down there to fight all these things, and if he... If he dies, you get a ring. Can you make this? No. Oh. Screwed it up. That's the path, though. I think. It has to be. Um, alternatively, you can go down and kill them all yourself before even talking to him, and then he'll get all sad and bothered and give you the ring anyway. But then his quest line ends, and if... Uh, if he defeats them, I think you get to talk to him one more time at a different location. I'm not too sure. So this has to be it, right? That has to be it. Ah, uh, oh well. Screw it. It's not worth it. I think that's just a Titanite slab anyway. So let's see. We got uh, 10,000 souls, 5 Estus. We're going to use an Estus. We're going to jump down there, get all the goodies we can. And uh, we probably won't survive. Well, that's fine. Let's start with this one. Oh, we got two. So we're going to roll, roll, roll. It's important to just get the items. Alright, so long as they don't grab. Oh, <laughs> I s here it is. He's going to throw us into the meat grinder. Oh, that's the worst. And we're poisoned and we're dead. So yeah, I think we're going to skip that area from now on. And uh, just go check out the next boss. Sound like a good idea? It's going to be a little bit of a run back. But, you know, it's nothing we haven't dealt with before. We are going to have to put on the ring. Oh, we always had the ring on. How convenient. And it's this way. Straight ahead. Straight out the bonfire room. Over the lava. Onto the wood. And then we'll get Havels back on. And we'll just uh we'll just run. There's no point to fight anything now. We've gotten all the items. Well, yeah, I could go back down where the poison water is and fight all those guys, but I really don't think it's worth it. And uh, honestly, you know, who knows? Maybe at the end of this, I'll feel like going back down and talking to Sigmire. And uh, maybe we'll do his quest line at the very end. It's kind of like a tying up loose ends little bit. So, yeah. All of these creatures are super dumb. And if you just zig and zag your way around the columns, you can run by them pretty easily. And then once you're going up the stairs, you're basically home free. You just gotta dodge this guy, and you just gotta lead him to the right, and dodge left. Very simple. No need to fight. I don't think you can go past here. Yep. That's his boundary. So. We've been down there. There's a shortcut ahead up there. There's that way over there that was just for items. And that other path that I can't figure out. Oh, it's is it this way? Okay, so that's that way. This is the way I couldn't figure out how to get to at first. So let's check this out. We'll kill this guy real quick. Nice and easy. Should only be a couple of shots. Yep. Oh, here we are. Now, what are the chances it's a mimic? No, we're fine. Pyromancy. Chaos Flame Whip, bloody bloody blah, 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 stuff we won't be using. And red titanite chunks. Is this anything? You never know. You always gotta check. Okay. 
So now there's really nothing else to do other than uh, head this way. We got five Estus. Let's see what we can what we can do. We got trees and we got a pathway leading down. And we can slide. The, the electric slide, I don't know if you can hear it, but my controller is just going nuts with the vibration. Alright, here we are. Here we are. The bed of chaos. This is pretty much what the Witch of Isleth has become, I think. Because she tried to, uh... She tried to light her soul on fire to start another bonfire which doesn't work it doesn't work that way it's 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 more complicated than that all right one heart down and this is the gimmick with this boss it's you know three phases and each phase gets progressively harder I don't know how many tries it's going to take me, but I, uh, we'll see if we can pull it off in one. Who knows? Maybe I'm lucky. Controller's going crazy again. So now she's got like crazy lava branches or something. And, uh, oh. And on top of that, the floor is collapsing. That's exactly what we need. We're going to take a break right here. I think I, he's doing his sweep. Okay. If we can just roll our way to the other side. Oh no. That's it. And that's all it takes for you to get killed by this boss. It's, uh, like I said, it's going to be very, very trying. You kind of just got to get the, uh, got to get the lucky run, as it were, and hope that she doesn't do her big swipes because her big swipes just you know once the floor starts to cave in there's almost no avoiding it there's very minimal that you can do um, where was it there it was okay we're good get the rings back on another run and if I keep on losing of course I'll start to uh blur fade these but I don't know it's not too bad of a run there's worse out there for sure um, but it, it is one of those runs that I remember doing a bunch of just because yeah I suck at this boss I don't know the cool tips and tricks that everyone else does or I don't even know if they exist really maybe I should watch uh, I don't know no, I shouldn't watch anything while I'm doing these. I try to keep it as clean as possible. I don't really want to go back and watch someone else's footage of like, oh yeah, that's how that goes. It's like, no, this is the pure experience of what it's like after you haven't played in a while. Well, it's not like I haven't played, but you know what I mean. Alright, round two. Down we go. We're just gonna dance our way on down. You know, it would be so much different if, like, you just skip this. Oh, I love how the branches break off. My head is too strong. Do that? Does that thing stay, stay dead? Okay. Maybe it's not as bad as I remember then. If that side's already uh, dead. If that side's already dead. Time to go back down the super fun slide of death. How weird is it that in this world there exists... Oh, I died so quick I get to retrieve my stuff from the top. Awesome. How weird is it that in this world there exists somewhere a slide that you can just... You know, countless people can just slide down and most likely just get friggin' wrecked. Just get devoured. So I think my issue there was I got two rambunctious and just ran in before he even started doing animations. Okay, here he goes again. Okay, we did block it. We did block it. 
Okay. We can do this. We can do this. We got behind. We got behind the arms. We're going to drink up. Top off. I don't think he can harm us in here. We'll see. It is weird though that this is the one... The only boss that I know of that has multiple stages that persist through the character's death. And I think that's awesome. Maybe... Maybe I guess they thought it was too much to have to do each stage every time. Who knows? Okay, so now the full thing is out. It had arm number two and arm number three. And whatever you want to call them. Oh, look at these freaking arms right here. So we got... Oh, the fire! The fire! Get up and drink. And then move. Time to move. Oh, no! We're over nothing. Yep. Yep, yep. Called it. And another cut. Time for attempt number 42. No. So this is its final stage where it's doing all kinds of pyromancy. And the real problem with this is you gotta do some crazy platforming. Well, not super crazy platforming, but platforming. Look, it's already starting the fire. Already starting the fire. Now watch this middle bit as I get closer to it. It's not gonna be fun. Here he comes. We did block it. There's that. Okay, we need to get onto that tree branch. We need to get onto that tree branch. Time for focus mode. We gotta focus. Get your focus. Focus on the prize. Slide like you've never slid before. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna wait for an attack. Oh man, it's not very nice. Ooh, neither was that. Okay, we're going. Nope, the arms. There we go. Double chug. Triple chug. Screw it. Now we're inside. We need to power our way into the heart. It can still kill us with its pyromancy. So we need to be aware of that. We just need to keep on chugging. It will eventually... Here it comes. We just need to live through this. Drink. Roll. If we can get to it. If we can just... Yes! Yes! And now there's a stupid... That's the, those stupid bugs. I don't know if you saw them right there. Are their... Uh, it's hearts, per se. So we got another Lord Soul to put in the um, Lord Vessel. We got another thing of humanity. And 60 grand in souls. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Let's just explore around in here. Oh yeah. Duh. Light the bonfire dork. And I think that this is actually here because I'm pretty sure there's nowhere else to go down this route. Unless I wanted to go back to the poison. Huh. Hold on. Ah yes. I remember now. We have to go to the catacombs. So doesn't that just sound amazing? We got a couple of uh, levels we can get up. Let's get our strength going. 36. What did we need for the... For the weapon? Let's take a quick look. Um, real quick. Real quick. Where was it? The Demon's Great Axe requires 46. So we're 10 off still. Anyways, we gotta go all the way back to the first bonfire. And uh, there's a s whole section connected to the very starting zone that has not even been touched by me up to this point, other than to get the weapon from it, which is this Wyander. But we're about to show it off. Do I have a. 
proper weapon that I may need. I need something magical, I think. Magical, magical. Enchanted, that'll do. I think that'll do. It's hard to say, but basically, over here... He's taking a nap, don't worry. Um, are the catacombs. And the reason the catacombs are so hard is because there are these skeletons that are invincible or at least they seem invincible they can only be killed with certain items with certain magical properties I believe enchanted is one of them oh I love that moveset oh but also once you start getting even deeper down I believe uh, there are these summoning guys. We'll see them when we get down to them. Okay. But so far. So good. Oh. In the uh, killing of skeletons department. It is working. And I guess that is another way to deal with them. You could just plop them off the cliff. Plop them off the cliff. Use your words. But anyways, I'm going to ignore most of these guys, and I'm just going to run to the next bonfire, if I can. I used to be able to do it in one go. It's been a while. It's been a while since I could hold my head up high. Welcome to the catacombs. Enjoy your stay. We hope you like bones. See those guys? They explode and do some weird, like, AoE, not fun stuff. Oh no, we're getting double teamed. Time to roll. Time to roll. Time to roll. And drink. And we gotta stay alert. We gotta look to the left. I think this is the way we want. Is it the way we want? There it is. This is what we want. Right here. Down here. This is the first bonfire. And this is the mage I was talking about that will keep on resurrecting skeletons until you finally kill him. So we got rid of him. We just need to kill these other two now. There we go. It's not too, too bad, but... Believe me, if you go in here without the proper equipment, you're not going to have a fun time. Look at that. Even one backstab won't kill him. Let's drink up because we're going to sit at a bonfire anyway. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We're sitting at the bonfire. Do we want to sit, though? That's hard to say because then the, these guys will come back. Oh, we got levers. Oh, crap. I can't remember what the levers do. Do we push it? We gotta push it, right? How can you not push the lever? Oh, yeah, that's right. We have to for progression purposes. Alright, you know what? Even though it's gonna respawn the skeletons, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. So we can respawn here when we screw up.